now let's look back at the working from the CSEC maths May 2017 question 1A1 and look a little further all right, at the theory behind the steps we have 4 and 1 third when we said 3 into 4 3 4 is 12 and 1 13 so it become 13 thirds how does this really work how how does it really pan out in reality or what's the logic behind doing that the thing is 4 and 1 third it means you have 4 holes and then you have 1 third of a whole circle we're using circles now this is 1 third if we cut each circle into thirds later on we're going to count how many thirds we have how many thirds we have here one two three thirds plus how many thirds here three thirds plus we have another three plus another three thirds plus only one third here how many thirds we have three and three six and three nine and three twelve and then one more third gives you thirteen thirds all right so we get thirteen thirds which is thir written as thirteen over three we're taking away one and two fifth what does this mean it means you have one hole and then if we divide this into fifth Uh, one two three four five fifth but we're only interested in two fifth right now let's divide this into some fifth as well one two three four five now how many fifth do we have here one two three four five we have five fifth here good plus two more fifth so we want to use this fifth and this fifth so we have two more fifth. We're not interested in these other third fifth. One, that is one whole, which is five fifth. And two more fifth give you five and two, seven fifth. So this is how the seven fifth come about. Nice. Let's see another thing we want to deal with here. Is the division. Why is it? that when you divide by a fraction it's similar to multiplying by the inverse of the fraction alright suppose you have say thirds and you have one divided by one third it should be the same as 1 multiplied by 3 over 1, which gives you the answer 3, right? Now, if you have some thirds, one whole, you divide it into thirds. How many parts did you cut this into? 1, 2, 3. 3. So therefore, what you have is 3, right? So it's 3 thirds. Try again. Suppose you have 2 divided by a quarter. Based on the fact that you, when you divide by the fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction, it should be 2 multiplied by 4 over 1, right? And that gives you 8. But how does that make sense? If you have 2 whole then you divide them into quarters 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 here how many quarters do you have is like you're adding up how many equal parts you you cut these things into one two three four five six seven eight answer is eight all right so those are the additional explanations that we have for now so later